hello guys welcome to my channel now today i'm gonna be filming a very different kind of video i feel like you guys don't really know a lot about me so today i figured i can do um kind of like a get ready with me and telling you some things about myself that you guys most likely don't know um, I probably did uh, mention some things I think in other videos that I've made but not a lot so um, you guys don't really know much about me and I want you guys to get to know me better so yeah let's get started um, I already did my eyebrows I've been doing my eyebrows before anything and then I also started um, concealing around the eyebrows and actually that's been helping a lot I really really like it so yeah anyways let's get started I'm gonna I have some notes here on my phone just because I wanted to like kind of um, I didn't want to forget anything so um, I probably didn't write everything that I wanted I probably forgot some things but it's okay I'm still gonna you know Go with it and if i remember something i'll let you guys know i'll just bring it up so first thing um i'm gonna try to really be able to do my makeup and talk to you guys because i feel like sometimes i am not very good at multitasking so just kind of bear with me um so yeah let's get started um the foundation i'm gonna be using it's the nars um natural radiant longwear foundation i've been using this foundation for like maybe about a month i think and i really really like it i really want to try the fenty the hydrating foundation because it says it's like perfect for humidity and here where i live in uae um it's super humid super hot so um i think that foundation is gonna really help me with this weather so okay guys let's jump into it first thing i want to tell you about myself is i am from texas from el paso texas i am about to be 30 years old i'm gonna be 30 years old in december 6. Um, i am mexican-american my parents were both born um, in mexico but i've lived pretty much most of my life in the u.s I think I'm gonna get distracted, but um, yeah, I've been, uh, I was born in El Paso, Texas. I was born and raised in El Paso, Texas. I am currently living in UAE, in Abu Dhabi to be exact. Um, now, in the beginning, right now, right now, I don't live in Abu Dhabi. Um, the city anymore we moved to a very small town an hour and a half away from Abu Dhabi and we moved because of my husband's job so um, I do have um, one sister her name is Christina Christina you're probably watching this I know um, her name is Christina she is 23 gosh 23 or 22 i'm sorry dude i forgot um but yeah she is in college now and she is my only sister um she is honestly like my best friend uh we've always gotten along we've never really had any fights that i can remember i think we did have like one like fight but it wasn't like that bad um we've always been mostly like really close Hold on, my phone is ringing. Oh, guys. I am sweating right now. I don't know why, because I have the air on, like, full blast. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I'm sorry if you can. There's just no control over it. It's really, gets really hot in here if I don't turn the AC on, so I'm sorry. So, yeah, like I was saying, I have uh, one sister. Um, she is back home in Texas with my mom and the rest of my family. <sighs> Guys, I had to put my um, hair up because I was sweating like a dog. So, and I keep getting calls, so I am sorry about that. I do have three 
um, half sisters and two half brothers. No, I do not have a relationship with them. Um, me and my dad are not on speaking terms. We are not speaking. We stopped talking um, for I think about two years now. So no, I don't have a relationship with my father. I am not gonna go into it just because I don't feel like it's necessary. Just know that in case you guys are wondering. Um, so yeah. While growing up, um, I was very shy. I feel like I am still shy in a way. Um, I am horrible at having <laughs> conversations with other people. I think that you can kind of tell a little bit, um, I guess, from my videos that I do kind of hold back a little bit just because I am horrible at um, holding a conversation or having a conversation uh, with people. I do try my best to, um, you know, try to have a conversation with people I don't know or that um, it's my first time meeting them. So I do try, but I feel like I'm not the best, if that makes sense. Um, I, feel, I feel like I can come across as a bitch, I guess. I do have the bitch resting face, um, but I'm not a bitch. I am not. I am a very like straightforward person, I guess you can say. If something is bothering me or someone tells me something that I don't agree with or I think it's mean or they're, or that you know, they say, they say something to me that I just don't think it's right or that really bothers me about me or my kids or my family. I will say something. Um, I don't like <laughs> staying quiet when people are mean or they just say things that are not their place. You know, it's not their place to say. So it's weird because I am shy, but when it comes to um, confronting someone, if they say something mean about me or my kids or, you know, my family, I will say something. I will not stay quiet. So, yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't know. <laughs> but I am, I can be shy a little bit. I, I can be. I think I've mentioned also in um, I think my video that I made of uh, when I was talking about um, bullying and growing up and um, being bullied because of my weight. Um, I did mention obviously that on my video that growing up I was being bullied um, quite a bit to be honest. Um, but if you want to know more about that, um, I made a whole video about it. Also talk about why I just started my, my uh, YouTube channel. I actually started a year ago, or almost two years ago, I think. That's when I started my channel. So anyway, I'm not going to get too much into that because I talked about that in that video. So if you guys want to know more about that, um, you guys can go ahead and watch that video. I'll try to put the little video card up here. So um, yeah, I'm just going to touch up on that a little bit. But yeah, I was um, very... My confidence when I was little was very low. I was not a confident person and I feel like... I am still not very confident um, with, you know, my still sometimes have a low self-esteem. I That's something I've always struggled, you know, I've always struggled with that. Um, and I think it started from when I was little in school and getting bullied because I was also like, I think the tallest, I was the tallest girl in my class. So, um, yeah, that was something that I struggled with and, you know, kids would pick on me because of that. And I always felt like I'm an outcast pretty much 
because I was the tallest girl. I mean, imagine being the tallest girl in your group that you were even taller than some boys. Um, yeah, that I felt, you know, out of place when I was little. So, um, and by little, I mean middle school. I think that's when um, I started to really notice like, okay, I do not fit in. I do not fit in with these girls. Um, I, I did have kind of a hard time making friends um, just because, as I mentioned, I was very, very shy. So it was hard for me to make friends and go up to people and start, um, you know, a conversation. And I think part of it is because I was just not confident enough to go up to them and just because of the way I looked, I was just embarrassed. I was embarrassed um, of what people might think of me. So I feel like I, that's why I just kind of, you know, they talk to me, cool, they want to be my friends, cool, but if not, I'm just not even going to bother. So yeah, that's, that's sad, but that's how it was. Um, so fortunately, I did make um, some friends and um, that was nice and everything so that's how um, I met my best friend so another thing that um, you guys probably don't know um, I was diagnosed with um, asthma when I was little so I do have asthma um, I think I got diagnosed when I was about maybe I want to say six or seven I'm not too sure but I remember going to the doctor um, I, when I would get sick and I would always get sick I think like during the winter that's when I would start like getting like a cough like really really bad cough and I think my mom took me to the doctor to see what was going on because I would get sick really really bad so I remember going to like a specialist and <laughs> I remember getting in the car after the doctor's uh, appointment and my mom and my aunt took me to the doctor and I remember getting in the car and my mom started crying and I was too little really to like kind of understand what was going on but then at the same time I kind of knew like oh shit like something's wrong with me so I think I later on or maybe that day I'm not sure how but I think she did eventually like told me like hey you know what you have asthma and this is why so I guess she got scared you know she was scared because asthma can be very you know very scary especially you know if you have a kid and they're diagnosed with um, something like that it can be scary um, I remember um, when I was in at the Y, I was in a basketball team, and I remember one of my um, teammates um, had really bad asthma. I didn't have it too too bad. I did use the inhaler, but it wasn't where like I had like attacks. You know, like I could not breathe. Like I was like choking, but. Um, I remember uh, one of my teammates, um, and I think she was actually the coach's daughter. Um, she had really bad asthma. Like, she would, like, almost die. She could not breathe. It was, like, super, super bad. Also, like I mentioned, I was in basketball. And I was in basketball pretty much because I was a tall girl. So my mom was like, hey, maybe you should be in basketball. And I was like, okay. And I actually did like basketball. Um, I really uh, learned to like it. Um, I wasn't the best. I was okay. But it was, it was kind of fun for me to be in the sport. I think my mom, ever since like I was little, she kind of tried to put me in different like extracurricular activities. So um, when I was little, I was, she did put me in ballet when I was little, I did not like it. <laughs> um, she said that I would always like cry every time she would drop me off. 
I was very, very shy. And she put me in swimming lessons. So I do know how to swim. So thanks for that, mom. So like I mentioned um, earlier, I am living in UAE. And the reason why we are living in UAE is because of my husband's job. I'm not going to go into detail on his job just because for privacy reasons. Um, but yeah, we moved over here for his job. And we've been living here for pretty much, I think, two years now or almost two years. And um, have we been here for... No, I think... Yeah, we've been here for almost two years. So, yeah, I, it was really hard at first. Um, I feel like it still can be, I do get homesick very often. Um, we don't really know many people here, to be honest. Um, I haven't really made any friends here. It's probably my fault because I am just not a very like super like social person I mean I am but like I don't know just I don't know I don't know how to explain it I haven't met any I have met some people but I I don't know like when it comes to like meeting people and making friends I can be very picky like I'm someone that when I meet somebody and I just get a vibe that I'm like mm, no like this is just not gonna happen I have a weird vibe I don't think we would ever get along I'm just not even gonna go for it or I can get a vibe like okay I really like this person I can definitely see myself being friends with them I like the personality you know they're fun they're I can tell they're a nice genuine person I'm that kind of person you know that I can if I get like a weird vibe or like uh, I don't think we'll ever be friends that's the kind of person I am so I haven't really met a lot of people that I'm like okay I can definitely like chill with her you know so yeah I haven't really met anybody that I'm like okay I can definitely see myself being friends with so yeah I'm I'm weird like that I guess you can say but I mean let me know are you like that you go with like the vibes you get from other people you know when it comes to like you know being friends with someone tell me let me know down below am I just weird or do you guys do the same thing so yeah anyways like I said um I am married I have three babies I have a four-year-old I have a three-year-old and I have a one-year-old I know, kind of tough, right? Um, but I am lucky enough to have help with the kids. So I am able to film my videos. So I'm very, very grateful for that. It is, you know, it can be tough sometimes. And um, I feel very, very fortunate to be able to have the help that I have. So that's something I want to put out there. You guys, I'm getting so sidetracked from talking and like, um doing my makeup i have no idea what i'm doing uh what else okay i'm gonna go in with the eyes i'm gonna stop talking for a little bit do my eyes because i cannot concentrate also by the way i don't know if you guys always like notice that i'm always wearing this kind of t-shirt this t-shirt and i think the kind of uh what's the color it's kind of like a brick color it's kind of like it's the same shirt but different color and oh my gosh guys I got this these t-shirts um, at Zara and they are just the most comfiest soft I love the material it's like super like stretchy they're like oversized t-shirts and oh my gosh they're so cool so comfortable these are like my go-to like at home t-shirts you guys should go check out zara i don't know if they might have it in the u.s maybe they don't but go check it out it has a little pocket like a small pocket but oh my gosh they are so comfortable guys if you like oversized t-shirts you like wearing them around the house i highly recommend these these are just i love them 
I want to get more because they're just they're just so cool. The look that I want to go in with today, I didn't really plan what, but I did run into this makeup. This is um, Sharon Tate. I don't know if you guys can see her. She is so beautiful. She's um, She was an actress in the 70s. Um, her story is... The way she died is just so tragic so horrible hey guys so i finished the eye look well i still need to put lashes lashes and um finish my face um now i am gonna be using blush because um sharon tate uh, back then they obviously used you know quite a bit of blush so i'm just gonna be going in i think i think with a little bit of this right here it's very pretty actually I'm not a huge fan of blush to be honest I prefer to go in with like a shimmery bronzer rather than like a blush it depends on the look obviously but I just I just don't that's not like my go-to I don't I don't know if I should use a little bit of um highlighter i am i think i am going to be going in with highlighter because i just i don't know i just feel weird not using highlighter so i'm going to be going in with this shade right here this is the shade babe and i'm not gonna go ham with the highlighter i'm just gonna kind of go in a little bit not too much the lashes that i'm gonna be wearing today are gonna be these i believe they're nora yeah these are the nora lashes by pinky goat and i really love this eyelash brand i never heard it until i moved here to uae and i really really love these lashes that they have i don't love all the styles but i think there are probably like two or three styles that i really really like and these are one of them so i'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes and i'll be back okay guys so i finished my makeup and this is what um turned out to be i hope you guys like it um i think it turned out to be pretty close to what i wanted to you know come out um the sharon tate makeup i think is so beautiful very unique because she kind of really um would intensify the crease and it kind of had like a little bit of like triangle shape up here um i tried doing that but i didn't want it to be like super intense how she had it i kind of wanted to blend it out more make it a little bit more smoky um the lip i am wearing uh the milani color statement and lip liner in spice and i really love this lip liner it's very beautiful let me show you I think it is a dupe for a MAC lip liner. I can't remember which one, but I will put it down in the description uh, box. But I really love um, this lip liner. You guys should check it out. And it's drugstore, so it means it's like pretty cheap. So I really recommend it. And the lipstick I'm wearing as well is also um, a drugstore and this is the Revlon Ultra HD matte lip color and this is in the shade forever yeah forever and I really love the shade let me show you this is what it looks like it's super super pretty and it dries out to like a matte but it's not like a super dry matte it's almost kind of like a satin finish and then for the gloss, I'm using the Jeffree Star uh, gloss in Legends Only. I don't know, my, my daughter was playing with it because um, she really likes this little thing. It looks like a little wand. Um, yeah, this is the gloss that I'm using. Um, I don't really use this gloss that much and I actually really, really like it. I think I should start um, wearing it more, but I'm not much of like a gloss Kind of person i kind of prefer a la uh, matte lip but i really really love this because it's not it's not like a sticky gloss you know and it really doesn't feel like how gloss some glosses feel you know what i'm saying i think you know what i'm saying but um yeah i really love this gloss 
and um yeah pretty much this is it guys i hope you guys like the makeup look uh that i did um i actually really really like this i think this is gonna be one of like my go-to makeup looks um i really love it it's very simple very kind of like natural um you can definitely pair this look with a uh, nude uh maybe like a light pink like this i really like the combination um of the eye the eyeshadow and the lip color i think it really complements um the look the eyeshadow look and yeah you can pretty much do whatever you want and i really hope you guys enjoy this video um, I want, really wanted for you guys to get to know me a little bit better just because I feel like in the beginning I just kind of went cold turkey and started doing uh, tutorials and not really talking too much about myself and getting like personal with you guys and that's something I definitely want you guys to feel you know like I want to share some things with you guys um, I want you guys to know me a little bit better and um yeah that's that's pretty much it um yeah um let me know uh down in the comments below what you think of this video um let me know um where you're from down below and i really want to know where you guys are from where you guys live we're actually going to be moving hopefully um soon back to the u.s whether it's going to be Texas or California, we're still not sure. I really want to go to California. That's where my um, husband is from. So yeah, we're, I'll keep you guys updated on that because of course I'm going to be taking you uh, with me. Um, also, something I forgot to mention. Um, we are living in a hotel. And you guys might notice the background the you know this is totally not my you know my kind of style you know decoration style um this is very extravagant and gold and you know that's what uh uae is known for like the gold and you know very elegant and extravagant um decor and stuff like that um so yeah we are actually currently living in a hotel because where we live it's actually a very small town and we couldn't find a place to live in so we are living in kind of like a suite i guess you can say at a hotel um it's not too big but it's a decent size for us so yeah that's actually something different um if you guys are interested i can give you guys a tour of um our hotel room i guess you can say um if you guys are interested let me know uh down below so yeah that's pretty much it guys um thank you so much for tuning in and i hope you guys like the video make sure to subscribe make sure to like this video make sure to hit the notification bell for more videos coming up and yeah, hopefully you guys have a great day and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.